farmer Dre back at it. I'm not on our farm today. I'm out here with uh, at Cox Hospital in South Springfield. My brother Val got this job to build two high tunnels here. They're two movable high tunnels. And uh, today we're putting on plastic, so I'm the wiggle wire guy. They call me out here every single time they gotta put wiggle wire on. So tunnels are framed up here nicely, but I'll get more in the detail. I'm gonna kind of interview him, even though he's my brother here, to, to uh, talk more about this job. Anyways, I gotta start putting, moving, moving these rocks here. Start putting on plastic. We got the crew out here. Gotta wear a vest because uh, city of Springfield requires it. So anyways, get to work here. So I'm just gonna take you guys along here with the uh, job and the plastic and everything. So you guys already seen me do this on our tunnels, but they're unloading the uh, plastic there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the GoPro as high as it can on that telephone pole and put a time lapse go for you guys here. Because trying to film and work at the same time ain't doing too well, so. I guess this time lapse will do uh, pretty good. Try to put on that one, but uh, this one seems to do pretty good for now, so we'll see. Brownie goes about 25 foot in the air, so hope this pulls magnetic. Magnet, ah, stuck, stuck. Oh wow! Oh wow! We got the views from up here. The views, okay. Let's see if I go any higher. Uh, that's it, it's maxed out. We're about 20 something feet in the air here. So we'll see how much I can get from up here. So we'll see. There's a hospital right there. It's a huge old hospital. I mean, it goes like two miles that way. Anyways. up here we are double wiggle wiring this um, the plastic here I'm gonna give these two guys uh, the camera there that's Val that's right do you guys both know these guys with brothers favorite brothers ever and uh, Val's gonna talk about what he does so catch right dude all right all right guys so as Andre was saying I'm Val um, I own true home property services we build high tunnels we do excavating grading stuff like that we're here on a project in, uh, De well, we're straight in Springfield, right in the city, doing a project for Springfield Community Garden. We got two 30 by 96 tunnels that we installed, V-Track system. We just got them completed. We got topsoil to put down. show you guys a little bit what a v-track high tunnel is so it's a 30 by 96 standard but we have casters on every single pillar that holds the, the trusses up and as we could do show you guys here six foot high thin wall caster on the bottom v-track on the bottom that gets staked down into the concrete then we have anchors on the v-track and that holds the tunnel down and it's very solid very sturdy 
and is just as great as a fixtured one, but you could do rotational growing in this one. For example, you want to have a, you only have a tractor with a cab, you plant the back section, unhook the tunnel, roll it to the back, and it'll grow there. Then you do rotational um, growing throughout the season. All right, how do these get? So another cool feature with these end walls is in order to move it and have everything planted, we went ahead and we have doors that come installed here. Let me lash it on real quick. They're pretty light. They're not too heavy for the average customer. The door does come off of the hinges, so it could be easy. So this like allows that. for the movement. Yeah, and this is ready to move in the back. Yeah, once you unhooked all the, um, the anchors, anchors on it. Correct. Alrighty, so two high tunnels here are done, and uh, they're looking nice, spiffy. They call me Wiggle Wire Dre because that's the thing I do. As I come out here and help them put the wiggle wire and finish off the plastic, so uh, oh, looking good. And uh, yeah, they know what wiggle wire is. Come on, right, That's dude? The crew right yeah. there. <laughs> so we got the crew. And uh, I'm not used to wearing these vests around, but hey, City of Springfield requires it. So any other words, Val? Words well, of we're advice? Good, man. Andre, thank you for coming out, helping us out. Yeah, no problem. And if you guys need a quote or pricing on any tunnel or installation, just hook up Andre. He'll send me my uh, your my email. True home LLC at gmail.com. Shoot me an email, I'll get you price listing, installation listing, everything you need. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave his email down in the description box below. And uh, like I said, any high tunnel, greenhouse, construction, anything like that, agriculture based, he's the man to do it. He's an expert. This is already our, uh, what is it, your 10th tunnel installed. So yeah. ever since he started doing this, and we got two more going on our, on our farm this next this and fall and then he's got on this property so three there yeah the plan is put three more there so hey the diversity of agriculture is uh is uh growing so uh, hey urban farms out here we're exactly in springfield missouri that's the hospital like i mentioned earlier so it doesn't get any better than this best way to do is support your local farmer so, so these high tunnels are pretty pretty fancy compared compared to the ones we have on our farm these are really really nice I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you have a structure, plastic, and they're covered, that's going to do the trick for you. These ones are movable. I mean, it's nice. But at the end of the day, whatever fits your budget, whatever's going to work on your farm. So, like I said, these things are awesome. I kind of wish we had uh, some of these on our farm, but it is what it is. Maybe one day. They're going to go ahead and lock everything up here and uh, be done. So now we are back home. Adrian and I got back home around 11.30ish. Uh, then I helped Adrian pack for the farmer's market, so he's out there right now. Isaac and I were out clearing up some fence. I got some exciting news for you guys. Probably in the next video, you guys will uh, find out what's going on here on our farm. We've been super busy working, you know, 12 or 16 hour days. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's just I just can't find the motivation to pull out the camera and actually film. It's, you know, a lot of times it's not just about the filming process. It's about going to the house and editing the video. And sometimes, you know, it's just like you're just so exhausted after a long day. That you just don't really you know kind of feel like editing a full video and doing that for a really long time kind of kind of gets to you so you know it is what it is i try to bring you guys as much as you can as much as i i possibly can but stay tuned for the next video or the next videos to come i got some super exciting news i am we are getting ready for strawberries and uh kind of stressing about that a little bit i mean we ordered thirty three thousand. That is a lot of strawberries. We're gonna do be planting some in the high tunnel. About a month ago, we got pre-approved for our third high tunnel, so we're gonna be putting that up here pretty soon. And it's just getting ready for uh, apple season, and we're gonna start you pick apples this Saturday. So it'll be the first Saturday of you pick apples. So we gotta clean the orchard, make sure everything is nice, mowed, ready, get it, get it ready for the customers. And um, it's just one of that time of year where everything's going at a million miles an hour and uh it's just this is part of part of being a farmer so this is gonna be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button go and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point you guys have a good day and we will see you next time